Hey there, welcome back to Flat Tire Farm. We're a 40 acre off grid homestead living in Alaska. It is the end of a beautiful summer evening around here. This is our sixth summer day without rain. Um, if you watch any other Alaska channels, you will know that we have had more than our fair share of rain around here. And uh, we get pretty jealous of our summer days because we only have about three months of summer. So uh, we feel a little robbed when there's not lots and lots of sunshine. So this video is about how we just keep trucking in the summer to get all the things done because baby summer is short. <laughs> I just want to show you the dedication of Mr. Reeve. He's out here milling lumber for the barn and it is absolutely dumping out here. Now, some of our animals love the rain, like Eglantine and the Gosling Gang. Oh, you guys gonna come for a swim? Yeah, what do you think? There you go. You gonna show them how it's done, girl? That was it, huh? But then there's other animals like tiny baby goats that don't like the rain. What you doing up there, girl? Yeah? Here, come down here. You can hide out of the rain under there. Come on. Yeah. Here, get right there. There you go. See, there's no rain right there, buddy. Yeah, now you could be out of the rain. What do you think? Everyone's happy regardless if it's raining as long as the food man has the bucket. Well, most of them are happy. Teddy. All this rain has done wonders for the honeyberry plants. I'm trying. For me? Yeah. Thanks, baby. Yeah. They ready? Oh, they're so ready. Oh my gosh, that's good. We better pick them. That's good. Oh wow. Okay. Ooh. Some of them are overdone. This guy's overdone. Eat that. Oh, you got one. Look at your hands. Oh yeah, mm. that's good. Oh, gosh, those are so good. It tastes like a cross between a strawberry and a blueberry. I know. Yeah, yum. That's homesteading right there. Eating berries in the rain. <laughs> now, if you remember from our last video, I found uh, a dirty pig bucket graveyard. Holy smokes. But the rain provides us great opportunities. Hi. I'll be talking to a goose. Yeah. <laughs> Heard you over here talking to Eglantine. What are you doing? Just keeping it oh, what am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? It's raining. I got plenty of water, so I'm looking at a pig bucket. Are these all the buckets from the bucket graveyard by the pigs? Uh, 
Well, most of them. You are the best. <laughs> I was not looking forward to that job. That's all right. I talked to her too, huh, Eglantine? You are a good friend, huh, buddy? She's a good conversationalist. Yeah, laughs at all your jokes. Huh. Yeah, you're great. You're a great friend. Now the sun came out on this evening, so we decided to do some calculating for the barn. Mr. Reeve, you want to tell everybody what we've been doing? Well, I had a big pile of these timbers here, but they were so covered up in weeds and a junky pile that I couldn't tell how many I had and how long they were. So we're stacking them up and measuring them so that I know how many I've got and how many more I need to mill. Okay, Mr. Reeve, so how many do we have? Almost enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> All the geese are out tonight. I wanted to show you what 3 a.m. looks like. Pretty bright still, huh? It's actually really... Well, Teddy's awake. It's actually really beautiful out here. If the geese were quiet, you could hear the river. Well, today I thought I'd take you along and show you what we do when we're not on the farm and building a homestead. Today we're laying a flooring at someone else's house, so uh, enjoy the flooring footage. <laughs> Want to tell everybody why you like it when I come to work with you? Because on the job site, I get to sass you, not the other way around. Yeah, boo. <laughs>
All right, we're all done for today. We didn't quite get her done, but I think I've got Miss Crystal talked into helping me out another day to finish it up. Maybe. Oh, maybe, huh? <laughs> yes, I'll come help you. Thanks for helping me, love. You're welcome. Okay, now back to the homestead. All right, we're back on the homestead now. As you can hear, it's still raining. Um, there's something that we've been meaning to deal with for about a week now. We've had a problem um, with the chickens being on strike. They're not laying eggs, and even though they're doing lots of free ranging, which usually keeps them happy enough um, to keep us in stock with eggs, um, they're just not doing it, not making it happen. Don't let that chicken fool you. She's a liar. She's just in there to rest or poop because she ain't gonna lay no eggs. Um, but let's get them all the things that they like and maybe a couple extra treats and see if we can get them back online. First, I'm gonna make sure they have lots of calcium in their diet. They need calcium to form the shells of the eggs. So we just save all of their old shells and we grind them all down and turn them into dust and then they get that as a supplement rather than buying ground down oyster shells or another calcium supplement. Next, we're gonna get them some sunflower seeds. We keep it in the Connex. It'll be probably pretty echoey and dark in there, but we'll see how it goes. We have all these bags of sunflower seeds because the goats like them and the chickens like them. you freeloaders come on see what you think yeah you're happy come on skip this is skip <laughs> she hops everywhere she's got one her leg but she's doing it she's making it happen And just in case for a little extra motivation, I brought a pocket of backup bribery. <laughs> you guys want to try animal cracker? What do you think? You gonna break it up? Good. Here you go. Here, Skip. No. Here, Skip. There you go. Good girl. Don't tell anybody I gave you extra. Yeah. All right, maybe if I put the rest of these in this baking dish, they won't knock it over in four seconds. There you guys go. Eat that so you can lay more eggs, okay? All right, hopefully that'll get these ladies online and they can stop being mad at us. <laughs>